Welcome to online learning platform of MSBT Learning at your doorstep. I am Sushma Kulhe, Head of Electronics and Telecommunication Department from Guru Govind Singh Polytechnic, Nashik. Welcome you all to the presentation on Next Generation Network, in which we will focus on explain the function of Next Generation Network components. After the completion of this presentation, the learners would be able to understand the functions of next generation network components and the applications of the next generation network. The contents are the functions of next generation network components and the applications of next generation network. Concept map. The concept map shows the list of NGN components Media Gateway, Media Gateway Controller, Access Gateway, Trunk Media Gateway, Signaling Gateway, Session Border Controller, Access Network, IP Cover Network, Media Server, Application Server, IP Multimedia Service Component, PSTN Emulation Service Component. Now, this is the next generation network components. This is the important slide. The, at the center, the component is the IP cover network. The IP cover network, the primary function of this component is to provide the routing and transport of IP packets. The call agent or the soft switches, it may be called as the MGC, that is the media gateway controller. It will provide the call logic and call control functions. Signaling gateway. The signaling gateway provides the signaling interface between the VOIP networks and the PSTN signals. The TMG that is the trunk media gateway. The trunk media gateway supports the functions such as packetization and echo control. The access gateway. Access gateway provides the functions such as the media conversion from circuit to packet and packet to circuit as well as the echo control. Access network. Access network provides the connectivity between the customer premises equipment and the access gateways in the service provider network. Session border controller. It is also called as the border gateway. It will provide the functions such as security, overload current, quality of service management, account call accounting, etc. The media server. The media server under the control of application server, it will provide the announcement and tones and collect the user information. The application server. The application server provides the service logic and execution for one or more applications or services that are not directly hosted from the media gateway control. Now let us see one by one the detailed function of each component. The media gateway. Media gateway, it converts the data from the format required for one type of network to the format required for another. The media gateways are located in the access layer network. As we already discussed in the previous lecture, there are four layers in NGN, access, transport, control and service layer. Uh, the media gateway, it will perform the following functionality, access gateway, media gateway, signaling gateway and the border gateway. The next component is the media gateway controller. The media gateway controller is also called as the soft switches and call controllers or wireless call server or call agents. The MGC means the media gateway controllers is located in the service provider network in the control layer and provides the call logic and call functions typically maintaining the call state for every call in the network. Let us move to the next device that is the access network, access gateways. It is located in the service provider network. It supports the lines and interface to the core IP network for use by the phones, devices and the private branch exchanges. It provides the functions such as media conversion, circuit to packet, packet to circuit and eco control. The next network component is the trunk media gateway. 
the trunk media gateway supports a trunk side interface to the PSTN and IP routed flows in the packet network. It supports the functions such as packetization and echo control. Moving towards the next that is the signaling gateway. The signaling gateway provides the signaling interface between the voice over internet protocol that is the VoIP network and the PSTN signaling network. It terminates the SS7 links that is the signaling system number 7 and provides the message transport part level 1 and level 2 functionality. The next component is the border gateway. It is also called as the session border controller. It is deployed at the edge of the core of a service provider network to control the signaling and media streams as they went as they enter and exit the network. The SBC provides the functions such as security, overload control, quality of service management, network address translation and firewall, traversal, call accounting, etc. The next component is the access network. The access network provides the connectivity between the customer devices equipment and the access gateways in the service provider network. There are various access methods. TDM, time division multiplex in direct access, switched TDM, broadband access, it includes the cable or the digital subscriber line and IP managed internet services. The next component is the IP core network. The primary function of the IP core network is to provide the routing and the transport of IP, pack IP packets. The IP core also has the added value of architecturally isolating the gateways and their associated access network from media gateway controller and the associated service intelligence. In order to address the performance needs of each of the typical traffic streams associated with the VoIP architecture, the core network may support the separate quality of service mechanism. The next component is the media server. The media server is located in the service network provider and uses a control protocol such as H.248. It is also called as the SIP that is the session initiation protocol and under the control of application server or media gateway controller it will provide the announcements and tones and collect the user information. Application server. The application server is again located in the service provider network and provides the service logic and execution for one or more applications or services that are not directly hosted on the media gateway controller. The IP multimedia service component. The IP multimedia service component supports the mediated multimedia services. It consists of session services and non-session services. The session services means such as voice or video telephony or PSTN and ISDN simulation and non-session services such as the subscribe, the presence information and the message method for the message exchange. The next component is the PSTN ISDN emulation service component. This component refers to the provision of PSTN public switch telephone network and integrated service digital network service capabilities and interfaces. Using the adoption to the IP infrastructure the PSTN ISDN emulation service component enables the support of legacy terminals connected through a gateway to an IP network. Moving towards the next that is the applications of next generation network. The applications includes the www access that is the browsing of information or e-commerce, voice over internet protocol, it is also used in video calling. Then it is used in broadcast television, IPTV or unicast or multicast, multimedia services, uh, it is used in games, voice telephony. Another application of the engine is the multimedia services that is the voice, video and data transmission. 
the next application is the call center services it is also used in virtual private networks and the distributed virtual reality so all these are the various applications of next generation network now the students can attend the mcq set which is provided in the formative assessment so at the end of the session the learner would be able to understand the various components of the next generation network its functions and the applications of the next generation network in the next presentation we would learn the detail about the spectrum in telecom sector thank you and have a smart learning